Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 24 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a nice problem. It mixes some algebra with number sense. And you're going to see that a lot on all the teacher certification exams. They're always mixed in the math. They're always mixing different strands of math together, okay? So let's start. Let's start with this one right here. And let's just start by reading it over very carefully and then working through some of the math that's on this, all right? Here we go. Number 24, it says, the sum of four consecutive integers is greater than 25, but less than 50. If x represents the least of the four integers, which of the following inequalities can be used to solve for x? Now, when we start with this first sentence, it has that word sum of four consecutive integers. Well, let's just look at it this here. An integer, it's a number that's divisible by one with no remainder. These are the numbers that are found on a number line, and they can be positive, negative, or zero. So we're talking about the sum of four numbers on, num on a number line. So that's all that says is the, the sum of four numbers, and it has this, this, this word consecutive. And that, all that means is that these four numbers, they, they go one after another, like one, two, three, four. They're consecutive. All right, and we're adding them. So we got four numbers or integers that are consecutive that we're adding together. That's that first part of that sentence. Then it says it's greater than. So the sum of this, whatever this is, when we add these four numbers up, it's going to have this inequality symbol here. That's that like that Pac-Man symbol we think of. And what that is saying is that Whatever this is right here, it's greater than the 25, or we could say it's, it has the less than, or less than 50. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewrite it here. The, the sum of those numbers here, it's greater than 25, but less than 50. If it had said greater than or equal to 25, we would have had that one right there, that inequality, but it didn't. If it said less than or equal to 50, it would have been that one right there. But we're not dealing with that. Just the greater than or equal. And we can, we can imagine the Pac-Man symbol here saying, you know what? That's like the open, open end of that inequality sign faces the larger value. And this one right here, if you want to think of that, this one right here, this symbol, the inequality symbol is pointing, creates an arrow that points to the larger number. So the sum of these four numbers is greater than 25 or less than 50. That's the number sense. Now the algebra, the algebra is here too. That's this part where it's talking about x represents and solve for x. And we're going we're gonna to take this number sense framework and we're going to turn it into an algebraic inequality. And we do that always by um, giving, representing our starting point as a variable. In this case, they tell you the, the smallest integer is x. So in this case, we can represent that first number as x. The second number in terms of x would be x plus 1 because it's a consecutive integer. The third one would be x plus 2. And the fourth one would be x plus 3. We're representing each of the values in terms of x, and they're consecutive integers or numbers. So we're thinking this is x, this is x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. Now, when we add up these uh, four terms. We have four x's, so we always add the variables and constants separately. So the four x's get you four x. The one, two, and three, they add up to six. And now we have an algebraic expression that represents four the sum of four consecutive integers if x is the starting point. When we add back in our inequalities, it's going to look something like this. 25 is less than the sum of these four integers, but greater than 50, all right? And that should match us up with C. C is the answer. Okay, team, so this is a great problem. It mixes in number sense. That's that integer stuff, the four consecutive integers, the sum of those numbers, the greater than or less than symbols, with algebra, representing those numbers in terms of x, combining those algebraic expressions, turning it into an algebraic inequality, that's that algebra. If you were to look at some of these other options here, 
If you knew that these four numbers added up to 4x plus 6, I'm hoping you could see that, you know, a and b, they don't, they don't have that. So for that reason, you could cross a and b out. And for d, remember, this quantity here, the 4x plus 6, it's supposed to be greater than 25. d is saying is that 25 is greater than this value. So for that reason, that's out. And whenever you have these inequalities, remember that Pac-Man thing. This is pointing to the larger value. So when we read it, the 4x plus 6 is greater than 25. And this arrow here, created by the inequality, is pointing to the smaller value. So 4x plus 6 is less than 50. Maybe that stuff will help you out too. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.